Hey, listen, some really exciting news for the city of Evansville and, in fact, all the surrounding uh, counties anyway. Lots of sports events coming up in 2023. Eric Marvin is the executive director of the Sports Commission. Welcome to Lifestyles. Hey, thank you. It's great to be here with you. Well, we were just chatting about what's coming and, and, and the growth. And I think, you know, listening to you talk and your enthusiasm, you have got to be thrilled about the way the Aquatic Center is attracting these top-notch events. Yeah, absolutely. The Deaconess Aquatic Center is a beautiful venue, uh, Olympic caliber type of setup there, and uh, all of our partners who come in and look at the facility are blown away with, with the way that this facility was designed. It just recently won an award from the Parks and Recreation Association because of how uh, great the design was, and we're hosting our first swimming and diving championship. Uh, coming up in 2023. We're pretty excited about that and planning is well underway. Uh, we've got several championships lined up for the next several years, but 2023 will be our first time this February and we're looking forward to having the opportunity to finally host a championship event in the venue. And how many people does that attract typically? Uh, thousands. So um, just the teams alone are going to bring a couple thousand people uh, to the community. It's the Great Lakes Valley Conference uh, Swimming and Diving Championship. They have 10 member institutions and then uh, uh, lots of friends and family members will come to take in the action. So, uh, you know, it's going to be an economic impact of close to a million dollars. They're going to be here for the better part of a week, uh, right, you know, right in the heart of Evansville, of course, at the new Aquatic Center. Uh, and we're excited to roll out the red carpet for them. Well, and for us, you know, from the media side of it, it's exciting to have these new stories. These new people come to our communities and go, Hey, this is kind of amazing. Yeah, I think people are, are really impressed when they come here um, and, and are, uh, you know, see how we overperform with what we're able to do and, and are blown away again with what we've been able to, to accomplish in terms of setting up a venue of this caliber right here in Evansville. Of course, it's a great partnership between a lot of entities that have made of it course. possible, and we're, we're a benefactor of the opportunity to bring new special events to this facility because of it. It'll just grow and grow. And of course, we've had the Ohio Valley Conference basketball in the past, and that, that's that been exciting for those of us who live downtown <coughs> oh, to see all those new people. Absolutely. it's It's been a boon for our economy. We've had uh, five great years now of hosting the Ohio Valley Conference Championships. It has outperformed expectations every single time. And of course, now we're really excited to have the University of Southern Indiana a part of the Ohio Valley Conference for the first time this year. Adds a whole new level of excitement uh, for us for basketball. And, uh, you know, obviously they've gotten off to a great start so far this season. So fingers crossed. We'll see if they're playing in the Ohio Valley Conference Championships in early March. Uh, but, but the Ford Center is another great venue, and we're privileged to have the opportunity to work with that conference championship uh, and create an energy and excitement that's hard to replicate and award the first berth to the NCAA tournament through that championship. Very exciting. And talk to me about Division Two. Is this new? For yeah. Us? So, okay. we, no, this will actually be, uh, I believe, our fourth year hosting the NCAA okay. Division Two. Uh, championship. Uh, we've secured that event through 2025, and we have a long history going back to when University of Evansville uh, was a Division II uh, conference member. So we, we've worked uh, in partnership with our local universities for a long time to host that championship. We'll do so through 2025, and we're looking now at what future opportunities we can bid on as we now have two Division I uh, universities here locally to work with. And, uh, you know, of course, we serve the region, so we've got a lot of partners out there uh, that can help us and we're looking forward to what the future holds a lot of great new sporting events to come for sure well I mean for you I mean you have to kind of be in the vision casting mode all the time to think what else can how can we use this yep. in new ways so yeah. you know thank you for the energy and the the brain space you've given to get these things and make them a reality well I love it I have a passion for what I do and you know it's exciting to have the opportunity to bring new events we've got several new events from cross country to volleyball to basketball that we're working on yet for 2023. And again, I think there's a bright future ahead for us as a region with sporting events. Sounds like it. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this. Stick around.